Hi, everybody. I'm Lisa Askley, the inventor. Welcome to my podcast. Hi, everybody. I'm Lisa Ascalise, the inventress. Welcome to our inventress podcast. I'm here with my beautiful daughter, Brittany Ascalise. Hello. <laughs> I like that a lot. Seinfeld. So good to be back. Yep. Back again. Good to see you, baby doll. You too, mommy. Yeah. Yeah. So what's going on with you? Uh, nothing really. No? Oh, no. Wait. So... Uh, those of you who know or don't know, I work for POAC Autism Services. We're a nonprofit and we specialize in education, uh, training, and recreation for families with autism. And we're in our walk season. We're doing a bunch of walkathons all over the city of New Jersey. So that's what I've been um, busy doing. Uh, all of our walkathons and all of our funding. We're, we're not funded by the government, so everything uh, that we do for the community goes f- from our walkathons. So that's what I'm really getting involved in right now and we're having walkathons until june so if anyone wants to know more about that <laughs> go to poac.net p as in peter oac.net if you live in new jersey and you want to know how you want to get involved it's uh poacwalk.org and all the information is on there so that's what i've been doing that's great and you are you're busy doing that all the time and you love it I and mean, that's it's what i love great. i love it it's it's um very benevolent uh, thing for you to do and just being involved with such a an incredible organization Gary great great um, his CEO and founder just absolutely spectacular good guy good guy yeah. good heart um, and it's a lot it's it's a big undertaking and you guys do it proud of you for being a part of that Brittany really it's a big deal thanks Ma but what's going on with you so what's going on with me so uh a lot's going on with me. Of course, we had the. I'm, I'm still flying high from the Forbes magazine, the Forbes article, and um, just thank you so much for everybody's support out there. It's on social media, and it's so it's it's still surreal that I'm in that magazine that I'm featured in Forbes. I can't even believe I'm saying that. So still still feeling that, and uh, spend some time with Carla because of course she's in the she's in the not of course but she's in the article with me. Also. Carla Hall. I don't yeah, think Car- we'll I'm know Carla, her by the first Carla thing. Hall. Chef Carla Hall, um, most of you may know her from The Chew, and um, sweetheart, good friend of mine, and um, just spent some time with her recently, and I have to tell you what she was doing when we went to her apartment. She was literally building um, an organizer. Uh, it, it was like a sliding organizer that organizes your like your pot lids and and things like that. And she was just real casual about it. She goes, oh, I was, you know, I was late coming to the door because I was just building this thing. Um, to organize her pots like it was nothing like it was nothing and we were doing a shoot and she was just putting on her makeup and and fixing these shelves and that was such an inspiration to me that I came home and I reorganized my cabinets because hers was just so on point and she's it's everything is just so amazing and, and so put together in this New York apartment. It's, it's wild. It's amazing. Her use Maybe of you color. It's decorated so nice. <laughs> right? It's like I can't do half of that. Right. It's just beautiful. The use of color, the, the utilizing the space in the room. That's it's, what it it's is. great. That's what it is. You know, you live in a New York apartment and you just know how to organize. You know, you, 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 I think you minimalize too, right? Get rid of things that you don't need. And we have a house with a garage. There's so many things in the garage. I mean, ba- barely pull the car in, but whatever. I mean, I, so I was inspired by Carla to answer your question and, and what my where my mind is this week, just organizing and getting ready for the spring. I can't wait. I want to jump over spring and go right into the summer. But no, I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying you. all of it. I can't wait till it gets a little. I warmer. cannot stand the summer. But um, yeah, and um, as I said, well, I didn't say yet, but we are doing a product pick of the week that you guys know about now. Uh, every week we are showcasing a new product and this week we're showcasing mine uh, and it's the Luggies Bow. The Luggies Bow is an organizer that uh, identifies your luggage. It's a it's an ID tag, but it's a bow. Um, ta- I'm saying organizing. Yeah, that's being organized. It's it's a bow that goes on your luggage handle that has an ID tag inside 
And so you never have to go crazy looking for your luggage because they come in beautiful colors, red animal print, um, chevron, denim, so it's black and white denim, just really pretty colors. And it does, they stand out on your luggage. So that's my pick of the week is Luggies Bow. And you can go to the website and check it out. It's L-U-G-E-Z-E.com. That's L-U-G-E-Z-E.com. And if you go to Luggies Bow, you'll find that too. Yes, I secured both domains. Mm -hmm. So Luggies Bow and Luggies Dot com. So that's our product pick. And if you want to know how to get your product on our show, just reach out to us. Brittany, what, what should they, who should they email? They should email the adventurous podcast at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Okay. Actually, it's not the, it's just adventurous podcast at gmail.com. No, I'm getting the no from the, the engineer. It's the. Saying All it's right. The. So I was right the first time. The Inventors Podcast at gmail.com. There you go. I don't know why it said it. Oh, I know why. You didn't read the the? No, because you know when you're typing something in <laughs> and it's in blue, mm -hmm. the thing, the the wasn't in blue. So it was my eyes were darting <laughs> to, the, to the blue. <laughs> Everyone knows what I'm talking it about. It darted over? The Inventors Podcast at gmail dot com <laughs> my voice is going through a change i don't know good. no you should start singing it's a good no, I'm voice. Not, no that's not what i meant it's a um, good no. voice I, can you go through puberty at 29 is that what you feel like you're going through i don't listen, know listen you never know my voice maybe i'm just talking too much but i feel it could be your allergies sweetie it could be that mm -hmm. i just feel like i'm really exhausting in my, my vocal cords. You feel cords. like you're straining? No, you know what? I do feel it in, in my sinuses. So maybe it is just the, the allergies. I don't know. Tell me what you think. The Adventures Podcast <laughs> at gmail.com. What's your opinion? <laughs> What's your opinion on, my, on my voice? Is it sinusitis or is it puberty? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just feel like my voice is getting deeper or more raspy. I don't know when we're, when what we're, the deal when is. When we're done, I'll give you a little um, Young Living uh, Mint under your nose and then you can have maybe a little vix of course yeah breed a tin breed a tin breed a tin um but super excited to, today because we have a wonderful guest on by the name of shelly barnes shelly barnes is an aoe member outstanding volunteer aoe sister i should say and um she has formed an incredible uh company healing hands for hurting hearts just so proud of her. She started this business as she should because she's out there um, always mentoring to anybody who's in pain and, and just um, giving her heart and soul to people. And, and she so deserves to put this business together for herself because she so does for other people. So, Shelly, welcome to our show. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So tell us what this is all about. You know, it's my passion. It's um, I, I breathe, eat, literally drink this every day. Mm -hmm. Helping people overcome their adversities. Um, and you do it well. Thank you. Um, a abuse, bullying. Um, I'm a mentor. So in a nutshell, I, I'm pretty much a um, life coach for in the community. And um, sometimes um, around the country, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think my, um, my, I have one or two clients that are actually in Africa, but, <laughs> you know, yeah. I can't do as much as I could do for someone that I could see and touch and feel every mm -hmm. day here. Mm -hmm. So this uh, came I, from your, your background as a nurse, you know, you have always had a loving, kind heart. Um, yes, um, I, I I didn't know that, mm -hmm. but at the time, I actually <laughs> wasn't sure what I was going to do. I always loved people, mm -hmm. and I always knew that I would help them in some capacity, but this is larger than life. I, would have, I didn't expect this at all, Lisa. Mm -hmm. So tell us about your background in nursing, and, and I mean, and that has a huge part to do with everything that you do, because as a nurse, you have to be, um, you have to be so open and I'm sure, well, not every nurse was like you, I'm sure. Um, or is the way you were as a nurse, loving, kind, open, especially in the field of nursing that you're in. 
Well, this, oh boy, this is really um, great because I really didn't expect to go into it this way. Mm -hmm. I branched off actually into cardiovascular um, medicine and electrophysiology. I know it sounds like, oh, big words. She's really smart. But well, and <laughs> it, you are. <laughs> study of, thank you, of, you know, the electrical conduction system of your heart mm -hmm. and, you know, blockages surrounding the arteries of your heart. So, you know, I kind of like uh, was guided gently by some of the physicians, the cardiologists in this field to specialize in this area. And I loved it. I had no clue, but I, I loved it at the time. And 25 years in. Wow. You, you don't stay somewhere that you don't love. No, I mean, really I not. smiled every day. Not for 25 years. Mm -mm. 25 years until I was injured. I would still be working at the hospital in the, um, is what they call the electrophysiology lab. Mm -hmm. And you loved it. Loved yeah. every moment of it. I didn't realize that I was doing what I'm doing now there by helping people. Yes. The patients seemed to always want to talk to me, like, not co like confession, but they felt that they could trust me. Mm -hmm. And I didn't understand why I was that person that everyone could come to. Well, God made you that way, honey. <laughs> he sure did. Baby, he sure you were did. made that way. I don't, think that, I don't think that was right, the right no, lyrics. Well, how, no, we, oh, you born were that born that way. No. Born, right. How did Baby, it go? you were born That's this it. way. <laughs> this way, that way, Wait. whatever. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but you were. Either way, potato, <laughs> potato, as you would say, Brittany. Yep. But you were, and that's what, you know, and here you wind up, you know, creating this business that you're doing exactly the same thing for so many people in yeah. so many different categories of, of helping the heart and healing people. Oh, wow, you, yes. With it's, your words and your kindness and just your outreach. Yeah, that is, uh, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I love, I love it. I love doing what I'm doing. And you do, I mean, everything from, um, as you said, so marriage counseling, you're, I think you, you mentioned, um, we talked, that you're doing a ministry, too. You and your husband are doing a ministry, and I, that embodies all of this, right? It, it is. It's a full circle, mm -hmm. I tell you, from that, because ministry actually is service. Mm -hmm. The word ministry means service. So we're servant, servant leaders to help other people. And um, one thing my mom would always remind us is that not to think more highly, highly of yourself than you are, mm. you know, not to think that you're better than other people because your circumstances may be better or they may not. But don't think that you are a lot better than people, but mm -hmm. help all people yes. in yep. all ways. Yep. And I you do that. I believe that. You do that. Mm -hmm. in, in, um and that shows through and even what you do with AOE, our conference, that, you Love know, it. your leadership shows and people know that they can call on you and count on you. And, you know, when we're having a conference, they say, well, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll call Shelly and and see if she can volunteer to do whatever. And you're always there and you're always available and your heart is, you know, even some of our members who are, you know, I'm going to use Jackie as an example, Jackie, um, yeah. bourbon who you know was going through her thing she told me she says shelly call me up and we're gonna have lunch together and and that's you you just have that outreach and everybody needs that and that it's so important that we do that for each other not only as women but as humans as human beings yes that is so true and, and everybody uh, doesn't have that everybody does not have that propensity to be that person that you are so i'm a person so grateful um to have you as a part of our sisterhood and just to do what you're doing in your business and what a great business that you're, you've started. And I'm so proud of you for doing that. So proud of you, Shelly, for getting it jump started and doing it because you know what I say to you, you're always looking out for other people. Uh, it's time for you to start your own thing so that you can have the proper outreach. That is, that is true. And I'm so grateful and thankful to you because you helped, guided me because you know i was all over the place mm -hmm. it's 50 things and you're like shelly hone in on what 
what you need to do and your passion. What do you love to do? What are you passionate about? And I'm, I'm talking like five years. <laughs> Been trying to hone me into this point. I actually set up my business this year. It's 2019. Mm-hmm. And I think we met four or five years ago, yeah. I can't remember exactly, mm-hmm. but you've been trying to steer me in the right direction, and I didn't actually get it until last year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you know what? It's because, you know, we as women are extremely creative. We're, you know, you're um, you're all over the place with your family and your kids, our children, and things like that, and the creativity just stirs. And I say hone in, but you don't have to do one thing. So while while you put this business together, now you can do all and implement all of those things, those ideas and those strategies that you had before. But now they're in one space and now you can break it up and hone it. Maybe one week you're doing you're talking about relationships. Another week you're talking about or, you know, at one event or one conference, you're talking about abuse and, and all of the things that where you were all scattered and spread out. Now you've honed it into one space that you can um, elect to talk about with whichever uh, topic you want, especially when you're asked to speak at a conference. You can yes. pick a topic, but you've honed yes. in on one business and you can use all of those uh, necessary tools that you've built through your your um, being a nurse and just being a, a guide and, and um, this leader that you are in your community and in our community, certainly. So really proud of you for doing it and honing in, but now you can express all of it in this one incredible space. Wow, thank you, Lisa. That I'm like, when you're speaking, I'm like, wow, that's a lot. Because <laughs> <laughs> you do do a lot. You do a lot. You do a lot of different things for a lot of people. And, and I uh, love, to, love mm-hmm. to help. No, you do. You definitely do. And we love that about you. We love that about you. Your mom, your wife, and just your teacher, your mentor, and you do all these great things. So say this website again because I want everybody to hear it and know that they can contact you. Um, and so to tell us your website again, Shelly. Okay, my website is Healing Hands, the number four, Hurting Heart. Healing Hands for Hurting Hearts. Dot wordpress.com. Thank you, Danielle Woolley. <laughs> <laughs> Danielle Woolley. It's... Yes, because she helped me understand healing hands for hurting hearts. And I'm going to I'm going to ask you this. OK, because, you know, I got a little bit of medical going on here. Is that four for the four chambers of the heart? Absolutely. Woo-hoo! So not one area four is chambers. neglected. Okay, that's right. That's very smart. Isn't that's, that amazing? <laughs> that is brilliant. I wish I knew what that was Just before. Four I was, oh, I knew in, that. You yeah. know that. You know. Yeah. Well, I don't really know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but you don't <laughs> that know. means don't go into it. No, I've yeah, seen yeah. a picture. Huh. I have. Well, you know what it is. You got well, it. So, I mean, what a wonderful play on words, and it's perfect. Mm-hmm. It's perfect. And that the, the fact that you even got this website is, is perfect. And it's amazing, and I just, it just, it's been working out amazingly mm-hmm. today. Um, quickly, if I could just share with you, I went to, Please. people don't know, you know, all that I've gone through, but, you know, I was injured. I had two back surgeries and, you know, some other health issues. And I went to my doctor today for a follow-up to see, you know, what are we doing next? Because I still have some issues with my back. Mm-hmm. And he he just kept saying to me, Shelly, you're larger than what you think you are. And I'm like, what are you talking about, doctor? He said, you help the community. Oh, and he yes. brought in a new practitioner and to introduce her to me, a physician's assistant. And it, it, it was amazing because I had to take a second to think, wow, I, I do help people. And it's okay <laughs> to to say, you know, you help people and it's okay. Of course it but is. He See? wants my business card. He uh... wants to. And I'm thinking, oh God, he would be great for our next AOE conference. Mm. 2020. <laughs> yes. He's a um, pain management doctor. He's articulate. He's smart. He, oh boy, it's 
It's awesome. Oh. You know, I go off into a tangent at times. Pull me in, Lisa. Or <laughs> no, no, you're good. Or no. Brittany. <laughs> no, you don't. No, Brit- trust me. I'll pull I'll pull you in if I think you're going a little too far. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, I, I Brittany. know Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're doing great. I love it. That's fantastic, Shelly. Yeah, and it's okay. And it's necessary. You know, how many people extend their hands to help, you know, another person? It's, it's unfortunately it's not enough it's yeah, not enough it's really not enough and you know as we say you got to lift each other up two hands at a time and you know sometimes that foot's got to get involved you know sometimes the foot has to be involved, it gets involved a lot <laughs> <laughs> no but you, you are, you, you're, <laughs> you're so amazing at everything that you do and and, and thank you for your kind heart and the, the fact that you're doing this as a business now because people can reach out to you as a business, you know, and not that you don't continue to volunteer your services, but yeah, sometimes you kind of got to get paid too. Yeah. <laughs> you know how I thank feel about that, that, right? Yeah, thank you for that. Yes. Uh, money mm-hmm. is not a dirty word or no, getting paid or finances because I could do more you know, when I get paid, I can do more. Yes. I can, you know, have more resources mm-hmm. and I could travel more. You know, everything that I've done up to now, I've used my own personal money mm-hmm. and savings and empty out accounts. And, mm-hmm. you know, I did different things to keep money coming in so mm-hmm. that I could help people. And it's so funny because I didn't know it was a business or just my, my life calling is what I would like to say. And um, I have you to thank for that. I really do. I know this is about healing hands for hurting hearts tonight, but I want to thank you so much for guiding me and mentoring me in business because I wouldn't be here if we didn't meet that day, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, with so our daughters. Yeah, isn't that, that something? Mm-hmm. Isn't that something? Yep. In the beauty supply store. God only knows why, right? (laughs) With our daughters. He always has a plan. He has a plan. He does. Two daughters. Brianna and Gianna. Yeah. Right? In the store. And just, I was like, huh, this girl, I know something about her. Something about this girl. Where were you getting at the store? I don't, I, I very rarely went to this beauty supply store. I don't even remember what I was getting. And um, with our daughters, with, they with needed Gianna, and Gianna and, never even comes with me to play. Like I, it was so strange, like not places like that. And maybe it was something for Gianna. Maybe she was doing something with her hair. Who knows? And she was uh, thinking about braids and Brianna was oh, yeah. thinking about she was always braids. Thinking about braids. <laughs> and, and, uh, and we were looking like, oh, <laughs> can we leave already? Right. Right. And as we and were leaving, the- yeah, as we were leaving, I turned around and I saw you and I said, let me just say hello to this woman because I feel compelled to just introduce myself. And uh, that was five years ago. That was about five years ago or more. And yeah. uh, no, I think it was more than, Shelly, you know what? I'm sorry. It was more than five years ago. Wow. It was, I was, was I in Moore's Landing? No, no, it must have been Court. I'm trying to think of where, where I lived in. I try to think of it's, what. Well, what did I have on? <laughs> I, you know what? I don't know, but you like, would what, remember that. No, I, that I and don't that's what I do in my memory. head. I usually go, okay, what was I wearing, <laughs> and then I'll know. But so, it, yeah. you did your first conference. I was not at that uh, conference. With, right, you were uh, not at Holy Ferguson. Right, you were that not there. First one. After that is when I met you. After your first AOE conference. No, we met you... before that, but we didn't connect until. Oh, that's right. We did. No, we met before that. We did, yes. And but we didn't connect until right. time after. Reconnect until wow. after that. Yeah, time goes by very, very quickly. That's why you got to live ev- every single moment as if it's your last and enjoy every every single moment of your life. And don't yes. waste it. Don't waste time on right. um, the idle thoughts and the ridiculousness that we sometimes waste our, our time on, right? arguments and, and fighting and negativity and all that stuff we just got to keep it moving forward and keep it positive and lift each other up got to keep on doing that and and i thank you for doing that in so many ways again i can't thank you enough and just for being a good mother i see the way you are with your daughter and just so amazing and that's a whole nother conversation 
Um, yes, I'm proud of. I am so proud of her. Over, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And she's she the reason got... why I started this business. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, um, the reason why she's my why. We all need a why. Yes. When we're doing what we are doing, mm-hmm. and my why, it was because of my daughter, and then I thought of other parents. Um, I don't. You guys know that my daughter was a, a victim of severe bullying, mm-hmm. and it was devastating. Yeah, Not that's... just to to me and her fa- her father, but to the community, and definitely to my daughter. I didn't think she would survive because that's she so contemplated sad. suicide. I know that's a, you know, shh, don't talk about it. Let's keep it hush up. Mm-hmm. But no, she contemplated suicide because she did not know how to cope with the bullying. And it well, was severe. How do you severe. cope with that? When you're, how old was she? Well, it started in middle school. Mm-hmm. So what is that, 14? 13, yeah, um, 13. Mm-hmm. No, like, you know, they're... I think she was around 12, actually, mm-hmm. when it started. Oh. How do you deal with that? You, that's a, you're a baby. How do you <laughs> even fathom that at that age or any age, any age at all? You know, you, it's starting younger mm-hmm. now. Ex- yeah, um, like nine, seven, like younger, like it's cause younger, you're reading younger. this and looking at, looking at on the news stories that little girls are, are killing themselves. How does that, nine I, years how does old that happen? How? Where does it come from? Where are, you know, just, I mean, this is why it does have to be an open forum, an open conversation between children and parents and principals and guidance counselors. It has to be an open topic because I think a lot of these kids hide it. They don't tell their parents. They don't tell their peers because they're afraid. You know, but there are several reasons, a plethora of of Mm -hmm. reasons why um, the things are happening now, and as I, you know, begin to do my research and I look for help within the the school system, the police department, you know, various agencies, the <laughs> I was really surprised. I was flabbergasted that there wasn't much help at, at all. Really, and we're talking 2014. And we're five years past that now, but since that time, other things have been implemented and put in place. But back then, it was like, you know, I was asked to keep it internal. Mm-hmm. I was asked to keep it under the rug. I was asked not to report it to the police and that it could be handled within the school system. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, I'm not going to say the school system or any of that, but... I will say that it's in every school. Mm-hmm. Of course. In every um, demographic. Yes. And it doesn't matter if you're a five-figure income earner or, you know, zero mm-hmm. I don't, or sure. on sort of assistance. It happens. It's not um, color-based or, your, you know, by your race, ethnicity, it it happens to everyone. Mm, it does. I mean, and look at look at some of the. Um, well, I'm just going to use some of the nursery schools as an example, where the teachers are the ones who are bullying the kids too. So it's everywhere, and this is it, you know it. There has to be a system put in place where the teachers coming in have to be educated on how to, or then they need to be tested. Actually, forget about educated. They need to be tested. I think mental evaluation. Making Absolutely. sure that they can help. I mean, you have teachers who are watching children bully each other. It's crazy. Yes. I mean, you have a, a, a teacher in, the, in this nursery school a couple of weeks ago who who took a kid by her arm and threw her across the classroom in front of the other children, and she smashed her head against the wall. I mean, it's, so this is it's so it's epidemic. You know, it it's is. it's at ep- epidemic uh, epidemic proportions, and it it really has to stop. And you have a great voice to talk about all this. And, and well, that is my platform, and I go around. Mm-hmm. I talk to many uh, people, and just this week of, alone, I've had over a dozen calls mm-hmm. about either someone, a child trying to commit suicide, Jeez. someone's being bullied, 
Um, you know, they want to leave school. They're, you know, uh, uh, it, it's just I get calls every day mm. about these things. And it starts actually even younger than that in the daycare. Yeah. Um, you know, three to four year olds are being bullied. That's so and sad. It's, it's just. It's not something that you're born with. It's learned behavior. Absolutely. It's learned behavior, whether you see it at home or whether things are happening to you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they do say that, and statistically it is proven that if you are a person that has been through abuse, you are more likely to abuse other people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, that's not 100% accurate because, I, you know, I am a victim of abuse, um, wow, I didn't think I was going to say this. <laughs> and here I'm just going to be transparent. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I was bullied as a child. And, you know, I didn't know why. I was always very shy and an uh, introvert, totally the opposite of what I am now. <laughs> Life will do that mm-hmm. <laughs> for you. And I, I, I just didn't understand why people didn't like me and it's important when you're young, your brain isn't fully developed. You don't understand. You just want everyone to like. Of course. of course. If you look a little different than other people, and I, you know, look different where I live than other people, that was an issue for them. Right. But they made it my issue. And, and as, as a young child, you take it on as your issue because you, you, right, you don't have the development the, the skill I, set. Right, coping mm-hmm. skills to deal with these issues. So my, my heart is 100% into um, healing hands because we go right into the areas that other people do not want to touch. Yeah, yeah. Well, Shelley, and, and we talk to them. And that's important to know. And, and I want people to know, again, please... Um, please again, say your website. We like to repeat this because, you know, people li- listeners are just tuning in, uh, so they can hear it again. And also if you have any social media handles at this time, I know it's, it's pretty new, but, um, just give your website again. Okay. So My website is healing you. and the number four healing hands for hurting hearts dot wordpress dot com. I also have an uh, email address, but I'm going to say the website again. Healing Hands, the number four, Hurting Hearts, dot WordPress, dot com. And my email address is Healing Hands, same thing, for Hurting Hearts, LLC1, at gmail.com. Excellent. Well, Shelly, you are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for being on our show. You are a wealth of information and knowledge, and um, I know that. No, some of the world knows it, and uh, okay. we want to we want to spread it. So thank you again, Shelley. Brittany, you want to say good night to Shelley? Don't tell me what thank to you. do. Say hey. good night, Brittany. <laughs> say good night, Shelley. <laughs> like did. that. No. Good night, Shelley. Thank no. you so much Not for like everything. <laughs> Not like that. But thank Brittany. you, Brittany. Thank you, Lisa, again for everything. Um, I'll see you soon because I am a lifer in, you know, Association of Women Inventors and Entrepreneurs. A O W I E. You are too much, honey. I love you, Shelly. You're the best. You're the best. Have love a- you guys. Oh, and thank Shelley. you. Having me. All right, All right, sweetheart. Take care. Have a good night. All, All right. right. You bye too. bye. Bye bye. That was a great show, Brittany. That was really good. Shelly is so amazing. She has a, a an amazing heart. Cares so much. All her experiences, everything, her history. Yeah, she's got a great story. Yeah, we got to have her back on for sure. Oh yeah. Definitely. And we're going to have her soon at mm-hmm. the conference. That's right. Running around with me, wrangling people up. <laughs> No nonsense, getting things done. Yeah, she's great at that. Both of you, you make a great team. Thanks, Ma. Yep, yep. So she'll be there. So again, uh, just to uh, remind everybody, it's coming up Saturday, June 29th. That's 2019. It's going to be in Lakewood, New Jersey at the Grand, 1600 Route 70. 
in Lakewood, New Jersey. It's going to be from 11 to 5, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Food, fun, dancing, entertainment, vendors, uh, fashion shows, everything. So you guys, come on out. Please register. Go to aowie.com. That's aowie.com. For more information, you can email me, info at aowie.com. So um, thanks for listening. And, and how do we how do they get in touch with us for the uh, podcast, Brittany? Well, you guys can send us an email, theinventresspodcast at gmail.com. If you want to be uh, the pick of the week, we would love to um, see what kind of products you have and make sure they're patented when we give the shout out for the pick of the week. That's very important. Uh, if you want to get in touch with my mom uh, via social media, Facebook, it's Lisa Askelis. Uh, YouTube, Lisa Askelis, Twitter, Lisa Askelis, Instagram, The Inventress, uh, like she said, AOE website, AOE.com. Uh, we greatly appreciate you guys uh, rate and review and subscribe to our channel so we go higher up in the ranking so more people can discover us. And we are available wherever you listen to podcasts. And that's about it. Yep, that's it. So let's continue to lift each other up two hands at a time. And you know, sometimes you just have to use your foot. So until next time, everybody, peace.